Welcome, friends, to Crazy Women Country, where women's voices matter. We bring you the greatest female voices in the music industry. From the artists, songwriters, and producers, to managers and executives, and all the women who make the music industry what it is today. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, friends, to another episode of Crazy Women Country. I'm Donna. And I'm Paula. And today we have the very talented Bells with us. How are you doing? Good. I'm doing so good. Thank you guys for having me. This is wonderful. No worries. You're always welcome. Always Absolutely. Welcome. Our pleasure. We love having new people on and uh, getting to know you. Definitely. Definitely. And starting with that one, the hardest question you're ever going to be asked, who is Bells? Ding! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was born and raised in Omaha, Nebraska. So from the Midwest, I've been living here in Nashville for six years. Um, I think Bells is kind of a sassy character. Someone who <laughs> um, writes songs from, you know, a point of strength and someone who has had a lot of bad relationship experiences and turned that into songs that hopefully people relate to. Awesome. <laughs> it's not always you've had bad relationships. Sorry, that sounds terrible, but it's, it's good you've had those experiences and then you can share it with us. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and it's crazy how you think, man, this was so crazy. Online and then everyone's like, oh, that happened to me. That happened to me. Like, no experience. <laughs> <laughs> there you go see you're you know, never alone you're never alone and you have to go through all the bad ones to find that that perfect one like the one that's you know you exactly. know that person you know yes. yeah i think all the bad relationships i've been in have definitely taught me a lot about myself and the type of person i want to be with for sure yeah that's, good that's a good thing that is a good thing yeah <laughs> So do you have a favorite song that you've written out of all these relationships that have been like, that's my favorite, or maybe it's just your favorite this week? Well, I feel like probably my favorite is my song, He Gave Me a Ring. Um, so I wrote that song about a guy that cheated on me, and then I find I found out, and then he tried to propose to me. <laughs> that's <what my> <laughs> yeah. And uh, I put that song up online, and it blew up huge and so many people were relating to that song and I just think it is so fun to sing live it's so sassy it's he gave me a ring I gave him the finger <laughs> so I have a really fun time singing that one on stage and you know maybe flipping some people off and just being sassy and crazy <laughs> yeah. I can imagine the whole audience replying to that one as well that's gonna be quite cool yes yeah, it's pretty fun. To sing. It was also such a crazy song to write because I wrote it with my friend Mark Narmore, but we literally wrote the entire song in like 20 minutes. Like wow. it just popped into my head and we just wrote the entire thing down. And I love when things happen like that. They just kind of feel like songs can sometimes just fall out of the sky and you're just lucky enough to catch one, you know, and uh, that's been one of my favorite songs I've ever written for sure. That is so cool. I love that. It is a great song. I have listened to that song. I have I try to listen to all the songs that when we get an artist on, but you know, I don't get to get listen to everything. But that is one that I've I've really enjoyed too, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. That is awesome. That's awesome. So um tell us about some of the women that have inspired you in the music industry or even just in your in your own personal life. Yeah, I mean, I think Miranda Lambert is one of them for sure. I've been a huge Miranda fan since I was a kid. And then I actually got to open for her about a year and a half ago. And that was amazing. And she was so kind and wonderful and just such a great example of the kind of artist that I want to be, you know, and she like played with my dog. She got some beers off from her bus for my mom and my family. And it was just an amazing night. So she definitely inspires me, not only like, because of that experience, but I love her songwriting so much. She's one of my songwriting heroes. Um, so definitely Miranda, I think, you know, my mom is a huge inspiring person to me. She's so strong and she helps me with so many things. My grandma too. So I very strong women, um, which I love. So definitely a lot of family. And then 
yeah, so that's cool. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. I think you need you need a strong background though. You need strong people behind you, especially in this industry. It's yeah. not the easiest world to be in. So if you need that, you know, that foundation behind you. So that's that's awesome. It's good to know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it reminds me of uh I was listening to Jamie O'Neill's song, uh, Somebody's Hero, where, you know, you don't have to be famous. You just have to be you. And, and you know, there's always someone that, you know, hero wise, as far as like mom, grandma, like you were saying, it's just, Definitely. it is yeah. just good perspective in life. Definitely. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so tell me what's happening for this year, like uh, some new releases coming out yet. I know we're th toward the end of 2024 here, but. Well, yes. Yeah. So I am actually, I'm going into the studio this week. Mm. So there is lots of new music coming probably sooner than you'd think. Um, I've been holding on to a lot of these songs for a while. So I am very ready to get them out into the world. Um, so I'm also going on tour this fall. I have my second ever headlining tour. It's called the Trusted Tour happening October to December of this year. So I'm gearing up for that. I'm recording new music, maybe putting out a few songs later this year and maybe an EP next year. Who knows? <laughs> also, so, I'm really excited about this. Yeah. Thank you. Lots is happening. Um, I actually just signed my first publishing and record deal the past month. Yeah. So, I know. That's so exciting. I'm, thank that you. Exciting. And congratulations, too. Thank you. I've been working towards that for so long. So it's been really exciting to have a team. And I love my team behind me has been so positive and wonderful and just so supportive. And it's going to be a really good rest of this year. And I'm really excited for 2025. It's going to be awesome. It's awesome. It's great news. And you're moving in the right direction. Everything's coming together. So that's just awesome. Yeah. Next year will be the Grand Ole Opry. There you go. That's literally my biggest dream is to play the Opry. I'm hoping so bad for that. That is awesome. That that would be awesome. We'll be there. Cheering you on. Yeah. Oh, that would be wonderful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that would be very cool. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Sorry, I was freezing there for a minute. I heard about the Grand Old Opry and then it froze. So. <laughs> No. We're all going to the Grand Ole Opry when when Bells oh, makes okay. the debut. At the Grand Ole Opry, yes. we're all going, okay, and we'll be there cheering. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be okay, there. I'm in. Just... I'm there. Yeah, I'll be you there. guys have to come. You have to be there. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> like, who are those crazy ladies in the front row? We're like, oh, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, remember us? <laughs> <laughs> She'll be like, oh my god, I know these people. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that are like yeah i know those people they're cool it's okay yeah don't worry yeah, <laughs> no security don't take them out leave them there they're fine yeah they're just enjoying themselves <laughs> yeah, just have a way to don't let us out the house very often that's what it is <laughs> <laughs> well i'm glad that you did put out into the world that that you know new music is coming out the ep will yeah. come out so see it's out in the world so it has to come out now Right, yes, I'm just, yeah. just speaking it into fruition. Right, yes, we're manifesting. Yes, she's not going to come back again because we're, we're too mad. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I love, I love Crazy Women Country. I think that's like the best name ever. That's oh, so it suits us to the T. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would very much to, like um, describe me and my fans, honestly. So I love. Oh, that. that's awesome. That's so cool. Oh, perfect. It. It's, it's see, it's one big crazy family. That's it. That's how I, I think of it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> one big crazy family oh, so yeah. on your tour are you looking forward to any like are there any sh like shows or cities you're looking forward to like i can't wait to go there yeah i mean i'm i'm honestly looking forward to all of them but i feel like you know going back to my hometown is always fun it's always special and see people there in this venue that we're playing it's the slowdown in omaha nebraska um, I used to open for bigger artists there when I was like back in high school and stuff. So it's pretty cool to go back to that venue now headlining that. That'll be special. So I'm looking forward to that one. I'm also looking forward to Nashville, the basement. It's kind of an iconic venue. Mm -hmm. And um, also just New York and L.A. And there's some cities I haven't really played in yet, like St. Louis and Phoenix. So those are going to be cool, too. 
it's mm-hmm. it's gonna be a great tour though I'm really excited to get back out there I've been itching to get back out on tour all year so really looking forward to it awesome awesome, awesome. and if you have a chance like when you're in those places I know there's always so much to do and, and, and I would say no offense Paul the U.S. has so many great places to visit I'm not trying to be mean that you know Spain doesn't <laughs> or, or the UK they have great places too but there's so many cool little things here yeah I mean like giant balls of yarn and frying pans oh, yeah. and weird things right so <laughs> So, t- so hopefully you get to take some time and, and take some time while you're traveling and, and, you know, get to go see something. And yeah, I love to, especially like when we get to a city, I am a huge like matcha coffee person. So I love to like, just pull up Yelp and be like best coffee shop near me and go there and like, try something new or like try a new drink and, you know, stuff like that. And just explore the city and you never know what you're going to find, especially some of those roadside things. Like one time I was driving through Texas and ended up at a car hinge. I don't know if you know. Yes, yes, yes. The Cadillac Ranch. Yep. Yes. So that was, you know, it's all interesting. You just never know what's going to happen. But also sometimes you find hidden gems in different cities. Like, like a year ago when I was touring, I ended up in Reno, Nevada and ended up at Lake Tahoe. And that was absolutely gorgeous. Amazing. I would never have known that really existed over there. Um, you just really don't know. But that's one of my favorite parts of touring is just seeing new cities, seeing new places, trying new things. Like it's so much fun to explore. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can't agree more. Mm. Yeah. Sounds like fun. I- I'm going to come and join you on tour. You don't mind, do you? All right. She's like, I'll just do um, interviews and you know sell your yeah. merch. Uh, it's all good. That'd be fine. Like, yeah, I'll sell you merch. Right. No worries. You don't even need to pay me. Just just feed me and I'll be happy. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Free travel and food. There you go. Yeah, free uh-huh. travel and food. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a good idea, honestly. <laughs> See, there you go. I've got a job. I'll just start now. hiring you out. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving now. <laughs> Uh, that's oh. <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. well everyone make sure you go check out uh bell's socials we'll have them in the links below yeah and definitely. uh if you have a chance go see her on tour definitely yeah. so. awesome it has been a pleasure having you on today and you're welcome back anytime definitely. thank you guys so much for having me no worries our pleasure and thank you friends for joining us for another episode be sure to check out the crazy questions coming up next Yay. if you enjoyed today's episode of crazy women country don't forget to give us a thumbs up be sure to click the subscribe button for new interviews weekly and thank you friends for joining us today on crazy women country where women's voices matter